So when we have a burn scar, um, we see no vegetation. We see burnt ground. And we tend to see the soil have different characteristics. Without the burn event, soil absorbs moisture. It absorbs moisture depending on how saturated it already is or how dry it is at the beginning and how much rain falls on top of it and the rate that it falls. When we have a burn scar in that area, we see most or all of the precipitation flow off of that surface because the soil changes chemically with that flame and that heat and becomes water repellent. The water doesn't wanna absorb at all, or if it does, it does very little. And when that happens, we see that precipitation start flowing off and it can collect all of the burnt debris, soil, loose rock, and really anything in its path. And that's what would lead to a debris flow or a mud flow. So homeowners and property owners can do some things to protect their property. Um, the biggest thing is drainage. Make sure your property has good drainage, has somewhere for that water to go that isn't just going down slope and has the ability to collect that soil. Um, and when water that is controlled, it, it leads to less erosion. The, the next big thing is vegetation, making sure you have good vegetation that's lightweight, that has good root networks. And there are a lot of uh, native plants in this area that do meet those characteristics. Um, you can do things like sandbag and that can help stabilize um, slopes at the base, um, but we don't wanna see them upslope very much because they are heavy. So if the soil starts moving, it's that's just more weight for um, the, the debris flow to carry with it. Um, you can also use uh, straw wattles, um, which are those long uh, snake-like straw bales that we see, um, for example, when they plant new vegetation along an embankment. Um, these devices can help stabilize um, the, the slope by allowing water to drain through them, but prevent the momentum of the soil going downhill and kind of having that snowball effect. But all of these preventatives are gonna do very little if a flow or an event starts above your property. And sometimes we have geologic characteristics that make these type of preventative measures um, just very uh, minimal impact, if any, if it starts above your property.